VMX system is able to be connected with a lot of different kinds of periphery. This can be, for example, an encoder for the sensors or for the actuators, a servo motor or an AC motor. But it's not only necessary to connect periphery, we also need infrastructure modules. So for that we have the MS modules and they provide voltages and either cat into the system and out of the system. In this example, you can see an MS module that connects the three-phase 400 volts mains directly to the machine. And on the other hand, you see an output for EtherCAT P to connect EPP boxes that use EtherCAT P for the co communication. But how exactly is this done? So on the one hand, we have EtherCAT and the four different voltages, 24, 48 volts, and 400 and 600 volts. We connect them with cables to the specific MS modules, and these MS modules are mounted onto the base plate to the standardized um, slots. So on the upper hand, we have the data slot. This data slot provides either CAT 24 and 48 volts, and on the lower side, the power slot, this provides 400 and 600 volts. If you want to bring EtherCAT into the system or get it out of the system, there are modules that provide EtherCAT in one cable. But for the additional 24 and 48 volts, you need a second module that then supplies the voltages into the system or you need them to get it out of the system. This is then done by two cables separately with another module. There's also the opportunity to use only one module that combines both EtherCAT and the 2448 volts within one cable. You can see that with the little yellow nose here inside the plug. For the high power, 400 volts and 600 volts, we also have modules that only feed in the voltages and no EtherCAT but also there are again modules that combine both the voltages and here on the upper part, the EtherCAT communication. Again, with a little yellow nose inside the plug. And another method is to use our technology EtherCAT P. So we not only have the 400 and 600 volts within the cable, but we also have 424 volts on the EtherCAT communication cables. So we bring all these voltages in the modules or out of the modules. And if you take a look on the whole portfolio of these different system modules, we have four different kind of categories. So we have the MS1 modules. They only provide the power infeed. The MS2 modules that provide besides the power infeed also the EtherCAT communication and the same for the output, MS3 modules for power output, and MS4 modules for power output and either CAT communication. Now let's take a closer look into some applications and some topologies. In this example, you see our three different sizes for MX systems. The one row system, two row, and three row system. And with the help of our infrastructural MS modules, we are able to combine these sizes and provide them with voltages and either kit. In this example, with MS4 modules for the 400 and 600 volts and either kit within one cable to this two, two row systems, and again another MS4 module that provides the 24 and 48 volts and either kit for this little I.O. subsystem down below. Let's take a closer look in some topologies. In this example, we want to build up a daisy chain topology. So we have three MX system stations. The upper one is the main station and the two lower ones are the subsystems. For example, we can have an output of 400 and 600 volts in the main station and provide the voltages for the two subsystems. In this case, the first subsystem has an output and connects the second subsystem with the voltages. 
only the first output, so here in the main station, has a fuse protection built in. So if there's an error in the cable in between the two subsystems, both subsystems are shut down, also the first one, as there's only one fuse in the main station. The same is valid for um, the 24 volts and 48 volts. So here we have an MS4 module again, and this provides 24 volts, 48 volts, and either cat to the first system, and this forwards again in a separate cable. The voltage is in either cat for the second subsystem. Another way to build up a topology is to use a star topology. So here, the main station has three separate modules from the MS3, categor MS3 category to provide 400, 600 volts to the subsystems, and they use individual fuses to protect every single cable. So if there's maybe an error in the first station, in the first cable, the second one is still running and won't be shut down. We can also build up a star topology with um, the 24 and 48 volts, and in this example also either cat within one cable. So again, MS4 modules connecting both subsystems with one cable and also separate fuses. And the 24 and 48 volts can even be shut down via um, the switchable outputs for the voltages. A star topology can also be built up by EtherCAT P. So we also have EtherCAT P outputs in our portfolio from the MS4 modules. Again, with, in this case, single fuses connecting the first subsystem and the second subsystem. The applications you can create with the MX system are not only limited within the MX system world. So, for example, if you have an application that already exists out, um, with a control cabinet where you have your EtherCAT master and your um, in-feed um, done by the control cabinet, you can also use that to extend it with an MX system. So, here the MX system has an input for 400, 600 volts and EtherCAT. All the three signals are coming out of the control cabinet. And we have realized the 24 volt power supply in this module so that the 24 volts are also already supplied. The EtherCAT P output modules cannot only be used to connect another MX system, but also can be used to connect, for example, EtherCAT P devices, as for example, our AMP motor, that is an integrated servo drive, which is connected via EtherCAT P. Also, third party devices that use EtherCAT can be connected, in this case, a um, third-party um, AC motor that has an EtherCAT integration and can be run um, with a 400 volts AC from the base plate. EtherCAT P outputs, in this case, this MS4 module can also be used to connect our EPP world, so the EtherCAT boxes with EtherCAT P, and you can then also yeah, distribute them throughout your machine. And if there's still anything that cannot be connected with the MX modules, you can use our base plate extension, the MS9 base plate um, extension, um, which provides 24 and 48 volts, 600 volts and 400 volts, and either kit, also with a fuse built in and also the opportunity to use some digital IOs that are already in the base plate extension. To sum everything up, here we have an overview of our MS modules portfolio. So we have the MS1 modules for the power in-feed only without either cat. There we have 24, 48 volts and the 400 and 600 volts. We have the ability to use an um, outlet to build up daisy chain topologies and also the main switch modules for um, the 400 volt um, three phase mains and the um, 230 volt one phase connection so that you can yeah, run your sy system on the mains you want. The MS2 modules combine also EtherCAT, so there are different ways, both EtherCAT and EtherCAT P, and there are also the 
options to use a 24 volt um, power supply within the modules and also additional outputs for daisy chain topologies. The MS3 modules provide outputs, so again 24, 48 volts, 460 volts, power only, and if you want to combine it with EtherCAT, you can use the MS4 modules, which also provides the voltages and again EtherCAT and EtherCAT P.